Hey guys, howdy do? I'm Karen Adamski with ShamaMama.com and today I wanted to bring you the scoop on selenite. And this is what selenite looks like. It's a pretty good chunk of it right here. Um, and really, you know, before I get started, I wanted to mention that this is a viewer request uh, video and um, the person who requested this information about selenite is Gentle Ocean Wind. So thank you so much for this request. I'm really um, grateful to you for that. And I was super excited to get it because I love selenite. It's one of my most favorite crystals and I use it daily. So I'm always um, anxious to share my information and knowings with anybody who wants to listen. So, okay, so jumping right in. Selenite is really cool. It is, um, I kind of showed you what it looked like. Here's a little bit of a bigger piece of it. And although this may seem like a large piece, just looking at it here, if you Google selenite cave and do an image search, you'll see pictures of these underground caves that that's where selenite comes from. And the pictures are just crazy. Um, you know, you'll see something like this, but like as big as a house. So it's, it's really interesting. It's worth checking out. Um, and these caves that these miners and these scientists go down into to find the selenite, um, they're super hot. They're really far underground and they're very, very, very hot. Um, and so they have to wear these orange protective suits and they can only be down there for 15 minutes. It's a big to do. But um, typically you'll find uh, these selenite caves in Mexico. That's where most of the retail pieces come from. Things like this that you're going to see in the stores. Um, so Mexico, but you can also find it in the United States, uh, in Greece and Australia. It comes in colors such as colorless or clear, which would be, this is an example. This is a little piece of selenite here. Okay, so it kind of looks like clear quartz, but when you look at it closely, you can tell that the growth formation is different than quartz. Um, okay, it also comes in white and this is a white selenite wand here, just a little mini wand. There's like a white chunk. Okay, and this is probably the most common selenite that you'll, you'll see. Uh, this is pink selenite. Okay, and then here is some peach selenite. It's so beautiful. And um, you don't find selenite in spheres as, you know, that often, so I love this. Um, just the way it feels, it's very calming. Um, so those are the different colors that I personally have, but the colors that I don't have, you can also find selenite in um, like a green color or um, a gray or um, like a brown, a real light brown color, but I don't have any of those to share with you today. The mineral makeup of selenite is a hydrous um, calcium fluorite mineral. So, no, did I say fluorite? That's not right. It's a, um, a hydrous calcium sulfate mineral. I think I totally just used the wrong word there. Ooh, that's weird. Um, so basically calcium and sulfur are, are what you're looking at. And you have to keep in mind sulfur is poisonous. So selenite is not something that you're going to want to put directly in your water um, for an elixir or to put it directly in your mouth for any reason. Um, you know, holding it's fine, licking it's fine. It's the same, you know, think of a copper penny. And, you, you know, as a kid, you probably sucked on them and, them and you didn't die. It's not the end of the world. But, you know, our bodies don't need copper like that. Our bodies don't need um, sulfur uh, necessarily. We don't take that in, typically. Um, you know, so why would you, I guess? <laughs> um, but it is considered a toxic crystal. Um, the Mohs hardness of a um, selenite is, is soft. It's, it's rated at a two. So a Mohs scale goes from one would be the softest and 10 being the hardest, like a diamond is a 10. So selenite is a two and it's considered very soft. It is very soft. You can feel, I've tried really hard to like break one of these in half and I can't do it. But you get a little bit of that feeling of um, like when you're bending a pencil, you know, you get a little smidge of that, but it's much stronger. There are pictures I've seen of people, you know, that take a piece of selenite and it's so soft that they are able to 
to bend it and and really manipulate it. I've not I've not come across that myself, but it really is pretty pretty fascinating. Okay, um, selenite carries with it the element of wind. Uh, so what that could mean to you is you know think of it, it brings coolness and it brings refreshing. Um, cleansing energy so you think of a, a wind coming through and like think if you're running hot if you're angry if you're hot and anxious and overheated and like a hot summer day and a <clears throat> feeling and then a cool breeze comes through that that refreshing feeling that's kind of what selenite can bring to you um, often I will uh, like I'm gonna be using these these two palm slabs okay I love these because of the way they feel you can put one in each hand and it just instantly grounds me and relaxes me and I have to go to see my daughter's college water polo tournament this um, weekend and I get all worked up so this this is what I'm planning to just sit in the stands and be like this is awesome and appreciate what I'm watching and not you know not get too riled up <laughs> So that's a good example of what you can use it for. I have a neighbor who has two of these and she um, she has a new baby and she has a lot of stress and she's tired and she takes these and will walk every, um, just around the block every day because it's about the only moment she gets to herself and she will walk with these in her hands and it just releases all the crap that she doesn't need and it brings her energy and relaxation and really brings her back to that place where she can mm, appreciate the now so it's pretty cool all right so um selenite is really great if you're using it as a tool for yourself or for somebody else in terms of the chakras it's great for balancing all of the chakras um Mm, I, should, I should even back up and say it's great for balancing anything or cleansing anything whether it be another stone or um, a particular chakra or all of your chakras what selenite is really great um, about it's like this is a piece I use and I keep it on my healing table or next to you know one of my tables where I do my healing and um, I will put other stones on it for for cleansing so I've got this fluorite um, piece that I use often in healings and when I'm done I will just place it on here it's kind of where I, I just keep it there because mm, it's like gosh what, what would that be I can't think of a good example but it's almost like you know you have to plug your cell phone in right it's it's kind of like that but on a cleansing level <laughs> so you keep it here and it the selenite brings whatever it is whether it's my person or whether it's like this crystal or whether it's this crystal it's going to bring these pieces back to its original dominant oscillatory rate where it's meant to be and it can do the same for you so if you are feeling off um off balance uh you can use selenite as a, like a scanning tool people will use these wands and scan them up and down their own body or up and down another person's body and you can feel where the blockages are so you can use it as a scanning tool um, you can also use it as a cleansing tool and really kind of break up that energy um, I often will just take um, you know a piece like this and when I have somebody on the table I'll actually lay it up and down their torso like this and it just kind of gets everything back to where it needs to be it's uh, it feels good it feels really good all right, let's see here. Um, okay, I was thinking in terms of tool though. Selenite is great for anything from your third eye up. So your third eye, your crown chakra, and your soul star chakra. So that's your sixth, your seventh, and your eighth chakra. So just any third eye up. And you think about what that's all about. That's about your intuition, and it's about your spiritual connection. It's about that opening up to spirit. Or you insert your word there. It might be your God or your whatever, your happy place. Whatever it is. Whatever it is and does for you and whatever your beliefs are, it all works the same way. So um, it's pretty cool stuff. So if that's the kind of work you're doing, you know, when you meditate, you may want to hang on to some selenite. If you're laying down, you may want to, you know, place some piece of selenite on your forehead or on your um, the top of your head. Um, 
for your third eye or your crown. Um, you may want to just have a castle, like a piece, a chunk of selenite in your meditation space or on your nightstand, wherever it is that you are needing to bring that in as a tool, it works. The other thing that's really great about it is like a piece like this, for example, mm. it's kind of like, it's kind of like selenite is like a magic eraser. You know, those little, they're just awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the Mr. Clean guy. Um, and you, you wet the magic eraser and it just gets all that grime off that you didn't even know was there, right? And <clears throat> it's a great tool. That's kind of what this is like, but for your energy. So it's a really great way to kind of cleanse your, your aura, um, to keep the energy around you um, nice and clean. Um, it's a great tool to put, like I said, on a nightstand if you're having trouble sleeping and your mind is going and worrying. This brings calmness to that area. So, you know, placing it someplace near your head or your body is great. Um, we have these long pieces. This is often in somebody's bed around here. Or I often send it home with clients to sleep with for a week. And just sleeping with it um, and having it near your body, it will heal you. The most amazing thing that I love sharing with people about selenite and... Um, most people don't know about this, but it works so well for me and for my family. Um, if you are somebody <clears throat> who itches, it can help rid you of that crazy itching feeling. So um, I, for example, I my arms itch when I get really um, overheated or if I get anxious. It's anxiety related for me, this rash that I get. So when you get that itchy feeling and you just can't stand it, um, like I had it on my shoulders earlier today. so I had a piece similar to this and I just kind of stick it under my bra strap right there on where it was itching and it just sucks that itch right out of you I I know that sounds crazy but just give it a shot um, my my um, son has eczema and his ankles get really itchy uh, and he itches at night like he rubs his feet together and then he wakes up in the morning and he has these torn up ankles and it's just this ongoing thing but if he sleeps with um, his socks on and then we stuff the socks with pieces of selenite like this. Uh, he, he doesn't have a problem. Now, if you would just do that every night, it would be great, but I can't control that. <laughs> but it's a great um, solution if you if you have that itch. Okay. Um, like I said, it's a great cleanser for the auric field or any kind of negative um, energies that might be out there that are just unneeded. It's kind of like, mm, like you'd go and you'd smudge your house it's kind of like having an ongoing smudging around, like a little cleansing um, beacon. Um, I actually, I should mention this, um, these castles are great and they're definitely affordable. Selenite is a pretty affordable stone because it's so abundant. So like these I actually sell in my Etsy store and these are $12 each. And that's probably where, which you'd find at your, you know, your local metaphysical store would probably be in that price range. And I try to keep my prices um, at retail or lower. So I always get excited when it's lower. But, um, but like I'm just, I'm saying because these are affordable, um, it's a great gift to give somebody maybe who's moving into a new home or um, maybe somebody who's having, um, some paranormal activity and they're not sure where to start. Um, it's a great for a dorm room. You know, that's a perfect size right there. Um, but what I was going to mention is I do house blessings and house cleansings and paranormal investigating. And often when I'm brought into a home, um, this is what I will leave them with as part of the overall, um, just it's a fee that I charge to do this. And often realtors will bring me into their, um, the homes that they're selling to do the cleansing now, or they'll they'll gift that to a um, new homeowner and then I'll come in and do that with the with the um, family themselves it's really pretty cool but with that I will often leave them with this because um, it's just a great tool for them to use in their home and to remind themselves of always trying to keep their space clean and it can go from room to room whoever might need it um, you might end up having them in all the rooms but um, it's just a really really, really powerful tool. Um, okay, Let's see here if I've forgotten anything else. Let's see, the palm slabs, I talked about them for walking. 
Another great thing, um, like I said, the water polo game, I'm gonna bring it for that. Birthing is awesome. So if you know somebody who's gonna be giving birth soon, um, or if you're gonna be giving birth soon, or if you're a doula or any kind of a healer that way, um, you know, think about that uh, as you're pushing. This is a really, um, really awesome stone for that too. It's a great gift. These I actually sell these palm slabs for $8 a piece. Um, you know, and you, if you can't afford two, you can get by with just one. It's all just, you know, getting that energy near you um, and figuring it out what works for you and where you get that connection. Great for balancing energies. Um, see align oh yeah we talked about the aligning the chakras and you know what it's also really great and i'll end with this um it's great emotionally for making people feel um secure and comfortable so any kind of anxiety or fear that way that comes up i'm telling you these are like <clears throat> magic erasers awesome 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 okay so i hope that that answered most of your questions about selenite i have a feeling it may have brought some new questions up and if that's the case let me know <clears throat> i wish you well namaste i'll talk to you soon